uh, you know uh, the oren architecture so this is your high level oren architecture if you see the 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 architecture i have defined it over here this is your cucp up du and ru right so this is your ren architecture so now i am going moving towards oren architecture which has been defined by working group 1 okay so you can see you know we have cucp over here up over here odu over here ru over here right so this is your you know open front hall right open front hall cus plane and m plane okay so we'll discuss on that we'll touch the base that also okay now you can see o cucp and du f1c that is your f1ep this is what i have explained right cup and du f1u right uh, odu to oru front hall right now front hall has defined four planes okay because when we are saying that du is from vendor a and ru is from vendor b right we need to have you know the compliance okay what kind of a compliance because when du is sending something to ru and ru is going to radiate towards ue right so that packets that control plane packets or user plane packets should reach to oru in a predefined time right because you know if it it doesn't reach to oru in a predefined time interval then you know there can be a case of you know you are not reaching the latency requirements as simple as that so for that reason we have you know introduced some planes over here that is called as control user synchronization and management plane so this is the planes which has been introduced over here and that is as per working group 4 again okay so uh, you know we have working group 4 which talks about you know the latency requirements you know inside this control user synchronization you know uh, management plane so synchronization plane is being used for having the synchronization between du and ru because both are from different vendors now right so for that reason we need to have a synchronization and the protocols being used it over here is ptp plus you know synky protocols okay so these are the protocols being used over there okay so this is you know we need to understand what it basically does how sync is going to happen okay then we have something called management plane talks about you know management you know of your radio unit configuration management something like that then we talk about you know the user plane okay it it sends the packets in the form of iq data okay and when we talk about control plane control plane you know it tells the characteristics of the user plane and it is always coming before user plane packet for a particular symbol so this is how you know uh, working group 4 defined this you know cusm plane just give me a second yeah so yeah this is what uh, you know your uh, you know this cusm plane have been defined now coming towards you know the, the upper front this is what we have understood now you can see one you know uh, service management orchestration framework this is smo it it you know it it includes some you know rigs radio intelligent controllers you know uh, uh, these are the controllers which includes non real time rig and near real time rig data okay why we have uh, you know this we'll talk about that so basically smo is your framework automation framework or normal framework which includes non real time uh, you know a rig and you know out of that we have near real time rig which is connected with a1 interface now you know non real time rig you know uh, it it used to get the data um, you know of the non real time executions or process and it uses over here machine learning ai and data analytics to optimize your radio access network so guys if you are working in you know radio access network already and you are not enhancing yourself let me tell you guys this guy is going to take your job it it looks harsh but this is the fact 
let me show you the definition non real time rec it supports inter intelligent ran optimization through policy based guidance okay it it supports our apps okay there are apps which is going to do this for you no need of manual intervention i repeat no need of manual intervention over here to do the radio network optimization it manages machine learning models and provides enrichment inter information to near real time rig for ran optimization okay utilizes data analytics and ai ml training in inference to determine ran optimization actions it will tell what to do okay it will use the clouds to save the you know the counters the reports from last one year two year or so so that it can do all the ai ml's data analytics and it will ask for the ran optimization actions which we were doing till now and we are doing till now through manual intervention like changing some parameter to improve the key performance indicators right so this is what non real time rig does near real time does you know it manages the configuration and connectivity for the ran so this guy is connected with you know all the g node b nodes like cucp updu using the e2 interface okay then you know uh selecting the uh you know uh the node using the e2 ap setup request and all those things you know uh it will be a part of your oren you know uh again you know uh working group two two and three okay so two says about non real time rig three says about near real time rig handles radio resource management task manage quality of services for network user this is based out of your x apps that use e2 interface to collect near real time you know information example ue or cell cell bases okay so this is what you know this rig used to do rig is a key component of the network architecture designed to enhance efficiency and flexibility of radio access network rig is responsible for implementing artificial intelligence machine learning and other advanced algorithm to enable intelligent and dynamic control for ran functions basically you are you know it is just as i told smo is a automation framework it is a framework okay it is going to you know use all this ai ml and data anal analytics and um, they are saying that we don't need manual intervention for any kind of ran optimization now you can see this near real time you know it is getting the information from ocu cpu p or du okay about you know the cell bases ue bases all those data is it is taking it up okay so this is how you know this a1 e2 interfaces works okay now when we talk about service management orchestration smo is you know responsible for end to end service life cycle management okay it includes fcaps what is your fcaps fcaps is your fault management configuration management accounting management performance management security man everything is coming into this so it is basically a kind of a nms or ems or you know um, orchestrator okay so you need not to have another uh, those things nms or something like that because smo is going to take care of that using non real time rig near real time rig a1 interfaces xaps rps all these things okay and this has been given and working group 2 and working group 3 okay so this is what you know your uh, when you talk about you know oren architecture what it talks about okay then we have something called o1 interface o1 interface is the one whenever we have to send any configurational changes to words like you can see when smo have to send this so it will be sending it to your cu cp up or wherever it has to send okay so o1 like this it is connected to up it is connected to du it is connected to ru right so this is how it works okay so this is your you know this is what i talk about oren architecture now to understand all these things we need to go with working groups this is your working group you know two this is your working group three this is your working group 
four like this you know this whole itself is a working group one so like this i'll show you one working group how how it looks like it is easier than 3gbp specification so this is how it looks like you know the oren architecture 